Hello everyone and welcome to the May Sky Report. My name is Vanessa and I will be your sky guide again this month. Let's get started. To start off May, we'll be saying goodbye to Jupiter. On the first day of the month, it sets at about 8.34 p.m. and earlier every day after that. Jupiter appears to travel behind the sun as we move forward in our orbit. On May 4th, the tiny crescent moon joins a line of planets in the morning. If you wake up around 5.15 a.m. and look towards the eastern horizon, you'll see Mercury, Mars, the moon, and Saturn. On May 9th, Mercury reaches its greatest western elongation. This is as far away as it will appear from the sun from our perspective for a while. Because of the angle of the solar system at this time of year, it's only worth searching for if you have a completely flat horizon and go out just when the sky begins brightening at about 4.55 a.m. You have a very short window. Pictured here is the very end of that window. The Eta Aquarius meteor shower peaks at about 8 p.m. on the 5th, but the radiant point will not be in our sky until early in the morning on the 6th. On this evening, the moon is only 7% illuminated, so it will not disrupt viewing. Here in the northern hemisphere, the radiance of the shower sits fairly low in the sky. This means that here in LA, some of the meteors from this shower will fly below our horizon. The International Meteor Organization predicts around 30 to 50 meteors per hour at the peak. This meteor shower occurs thanks to the dust trail from the famous Halley's Comet, which is set to return to the inner solar system in 2061. Throughout the month, these are the constellations that will be high in the sky facing south around 10 p.m. Along the plane of our solar system, we have Scorpius and its bright star Antares, Libra, Virgo and its bright star Spica, Leo with Regulus, and Cancer. And to the west, at the same time, we can see the constellations that we'll be losing throughout the month. Auriga, Gemini, and Canis Major all sit low on the horizon, prepared to set later in the evening. Ursa Major and its asterism, the Big Dipper, will dip lower in the sky as we approach the summer season. And in the east, we'll see the rising constellations, Cygnus, Lyra, and Hercules. Cygnus and Lyra each have bright stars that are two-thirds of what is called the Summer Triangle. The Summer Triangle is an asterism that can be seen in summertime here in the Northern Hemisphere. Watch the summer constellations rise earlier throughout the month. And here is your lunar calendar for the month of May. Last quarter is on the 1st. New moon is on the 7th. The first quarter is on the 15th. The full moon is on the 23rd. And the last quarter is on the 30th. Well, that's all I have for May. Thank you for joining me this month, and I'll see you again next month. Bye!